Okay, this is Overmars Daycare Mafia. I painted this in 2000, 20 years ago. And this is the technocracy. This is the human trafficking, the brave new world. Now, I've talked about this painting in another video called Getaway Toys Deconstructed. And it's only like three minutes long and talk about some toys. So you go check that out if you want to get some details, more details. Uh, so I didn't just want to redo the whole same thing. I want to do something different. And this one, I'm going to have a little contest and you could win. You could win some artwork. You can win one of my toys. Now, uh, first of all, I just want to say with the, uh, the Brave New World, that's, uh, I'm going to talk about two films, but the Brave New World, I just want to put it out there. Uh, if you, you can skip the book. Read the book if you want. I care less. I read it, but uh, I'm not a big fan of Aldous Huxley. I think this guy's a jerk. Hmm. Asshole, really. Uh, but I mean, great concepts in the, in, in the book, but this guy's a fraud. The fix was in, I don't really think this guy came up with anything personally. So I would say, st whatever, read the book if you want, you got nothing better to do. But I want to recommend the 1980 BBC production of Brave New World with Superfly. So I would say, check that out. It is hilarious. I saw it on YouTube and, uh. Oh, it, it's, a bit, it's a bit long. It's about three hours, but it's worth it. And you get the idea and, and, and it's kind of, you'll see how this is kind of related to it. But now the contest is going to be basically, there is a reference, a direct reference to uh, the painting in, in the first film. And then the second one kind of piggybacks. And if you can get the two references that I'm thinking of it, I'm going to give you a toy. I'm thinking the corpse and I'll just show you the corpse here. You can see that. Oh, let me just grab that here one more second. I bought myself a selfie stick, but it's a little bit cheap. Three dollars, though, second hand. Can't go wrong with that. So there's the corpse in the casket, but I didn't. I like. I prefer the one with the uh, the the United States flag on it, but uh, I couldn't find it. It's somewhere. I got boxes of toys here. So, but uh, that's the one. Uh, I'll send it to you if you can get it. I'm gonna. I will give it to you absolutely free. And if you know what song that references from, I'll throw in a t-shirt. So do your homework. There you go. Okay, so the first film I want to talk about uh, is uh, Forbidden Planet. 1950s Forbidden Planet with Leslie Nielsen. Now it's a little slow, so the kids are going to go, meh, meh. But it's got this id and ego thing, the Freudian, Nietzschean, Jungian outrageous outrageous it's a thinking man's film and it's great uh what happens here uh is they're they're on a search these space people are on a search for uh this uh this this group that hasn't reported back and so they go to this planet and uh, they're nowhere to be seen but there's all this technology uh some alien race has uh created this amazing amazing uh like supra next level like there are just who, who came up with this? It's unreal. But there's no, but it's a mystery because they're, they're not around. So they don't know what happened. How did they, who created this amazing technology and then they disappeared? No clue. So that's the plot. I would highly recommend this film. And again, direct reference to the, to the painting. And in the second film, which like I said, kind of piggyback. So if you get what I'm talking about, it's very simple. You know, even if you're close, maybe, but you gotta be the first, you gotta be the first. You want some free art? Joseph Schneider artwork, you got to be the first. So the second film is Rocky Horror Picture Show. Now, uh, this is from the 70s. I don't know some people, oh, that's degenerate, degenerate. Oh, satanic. Well, there's that too, but it's a good film. And the soundtrack is great. I grew up on this. Uh, and you don't have to see it in the theater with the whole gimmicks, which is fun too. Uh, but the soundtrack is amazing. And Tim Curry, I'm sorry, the amazing Tim Curry. And the plot of this movie, like I said, it's it's not for everybody. Maybe the adults. I don't know if the kids. Well, it seems kind of tame at times. But the but the idea behind this film is that these androids from a transsexual Transylvania have come basically to corrupt the Earth with their perversions, their sexual perversions. And uh, this is important because this is another theme that kind of. Uh, permeates throughout a lot of my artwork uh, this idea of sexual perversion and uh, and just the corruption of uh, Brandon. 
So you might have to see that film again, but like I said, simple reference. And like I said, if you get that absolutely free, the song I'm thinking of, I'll throw in a t-shirt because I got a whole bunch of t-shirts I made years ago, just sitting in storage. Okay, so what else? That's, so that's about it. So uh, I would say, um, like I said, it's a little different. I don't know if I'll be in, now that I got this selfie stick, look out. But uh, I don't know, I don't need to be in the film, but uh, or in the, in the videos, but maybe I'll do something different because I got a couple more paintings to talk about. Uh, I'm not gonna go through every, every last painting I've done. Uh, so I just wanna say, I'm Joseph Schneider, uh, call me Jojo, I don't care. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, BitChute, and YouTube. And I know I'm getting, like, you, Twitter and YouTube, they stink. Nobody sees my stuff, but whatever. I understand, I know what I'm doing. I know I'm going to have a limited audience, because not people are going to understand what the hell I'm talking about. But that's okay. So I would say, but if you can, follow, that'd be nice. And I'll, I'll, uh, and I'll, I'll read you back. Eventually, I'll check. I don't, I don't even get these notifications. I have to go back and look uh, myself uh, because I'm being suppressed. <laughs> so yeah, so check me out on all that. Uh, and it's all under getaway toys with either that hyphen or something. And uh, yeah, that'd be appreciated. And there'll definitely be more to come soon.